Howdy guys, I'm AutoEd, it's Jason, and this is Ram Johnson. Today's feature is about these, a set of 37 inch Nitto Trail Grappler MT tires. Now, I mounted these up a few weeks ago and have been putting them through their paces. Today, we're gonna take them into the dirt and really see how they do. All right, so here are the basic ingredients of what we're working with here today. If you're kind of new to the channel, this is a 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 TRX. It started out life as, and over the years, I've been rebuilding and I put a new Jasper engine in it, and I have the Icon Stage 2 suspension kit on it, which in the front means the Icon upper A-arm with the uniball joint and their coilovers with their shock. Uh, beautiful, no external reservoirs, they just are valved perfectly. I have zero wants for any improvement there. Uh, and in the rear, that just means coil springs and external reservoir shocks in the back, which also are great. So that's the basics of the truck. And then here, I've been running the TRB locks. You guys, if you haven't watched, I show you how to mount up when I did the Falcons on here uh, a couple years ago, three years ago, actually, I put the Falcons on here. So I ran the Falcons for three years, 28,000 miles. Fantastic. Um, and now it's time to try something new and different and something that uh, we'll go into all of the little intricacies of why I'm really excited about these tires. Over the last couple of years, if you guys are a fan of the Ultra 4 racing, King of the Hammers, the, the Trail Grappler MTs have been kind of kicking butt out there. And so I've been eyeballing that. When you see a tire stand up to that kind of abuse over and over again on those race teams, their marketing uh, got me. I started thinking, man, that's a tough tire. That's good. You know, you see those top tier brands out there battling. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So seeing the durability out on the race course was, was one of them. Second, looks. Like, you can't discount that. These look better. These look tougher. Even I loved my Wild Peaks and they made the truck look good. But this just has a different construction. The, the, the philosophy here is having that squared off shoulder, the treads go all the way up to the top here, and it gives it just a much more uh, aggressive footprint look to it. And when I walk out into the driveway, I have the keys to the Jeep or the truck in my hand. I've been gravitating towards a truck lately because look, look at this thing. It looks amazing. And that's a big part of it. Don't discount that. I think for people to say, oh, you bought these tires because you thought they looked good, Good for you. That's the whole point of this. Performance has got to be there, right? But if they don't make you happy and when you walk out to your rig and go, heck yeah, you're doing it wrong, man. Uh, open yourselves up to that. And then another reason that I really like this is something I, I saw on the sidewall here. Made in the USA. That's um, a small group of tires are manufactured here in the USA. That's a That's kind of a desirable thing to me lately you know I just am, I'm, I dig that I think that's a good a good feature to embrace so I really appreciate all of those aspects of this tire and that's before we even get on the road or on the trail so speaking of let's saddle up we're gonna blast this canyon road and we'll show you some of the on-road performance right now before we hit the dirt let's go all right so we're gonna do a quick blast down this kind of jacked up Canyon Road, but this is something that is important to me in um, my off-road vehicle. I Everything's about compromise, you know, a, a great off-road tire doesn't necessarily perform well on-road, but nowadays the technology is such that these tires are doing really quite well on this road. I'm pushing it pretty darn hard and the effort is minimal the tire you could actually feel when that shoulder finally gives up but having that shoulder so much more um, wide and squared off gives you just a little bit more security or a little bit more feel at tip in at right at the steering tip in so man it's good it's just really I, I just don't feel like there's a compromise there that is a good tire period, let alone mud terrain, all terrain, whatever. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get on the freeway now. We'll give you a little bit of a glimpse into the highway natures of this thing. So we're now up to 65. 
78. Now I haven't even balanced these yet. The truck just seems to be so well composed. It's always best. I recommend to take your tires and have them spin balanced. Uh, I haven't yet because here we are going 75 and I don't feel anything. So usually you would feel some light vibration coming in through the wheel, but I don't. So they, they haven't really made me feel like I need to go get them uh, balanced. Probably will eventually, just, just for it's the right thing to do. All right, so here now we'll give you a highway sound test. We're going 70 miles an hour, right exactly the speed limit on the highway, and I'll be quiet for a moment so you can hear the sound. Is that long enough? It gets awkward. I'm like, there's a camera rolling here. I feel like I should be talking. But um, there again, I just want to demonstrate to you guys, there is no compromise in what we used to think mud tires are bad on the highway, make a lot of noise, all that stuff. They're not anymore, at least and specifically now with this, this, these tread patterns. You're going to have all this aggressive mud terrain and snow capability, snow ice capabilities with a tire that's this docile on the highway and around town. So I don't feel like I have to compromise anymore. I get everything. So in this case, the engine is definitely louder than the tires. So the tires are a non-issue on the highway or on those twisty canyon roads. They're actually quite fun to get sporty and get me as where, wherever I need to go as fast as I feel comfortable driving. So there you go, on-road performance, pretty dang good. Let's go off-road. Hungry Valley where I did my tire test three years ago and was just up here with the Jeep and was going to get to the obstacle park and start recording but this is ridiculous. Oh, holy mackerel! <laughs> oh my gosh! These tires rule! All right, so to, to come back down into uh, like a mature reviewer's type uh, position here, what I'm noticing, okay, this truck was already fun on these dirt roads. So take, the, take that awesomeness from the twisty canyon roads times a thousand on these dirt roads. Um, what I'm noticing is that because of the, the shoulder and the footprint on these tires, turn in is a little bit more immediate and very precise. So. As you dip into a corner, the thing starts to carve, and uh, that's very rewarding. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh my god! That's too ridiculous. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So we're officially in the off-road play area. I went ahead and aired down. Let's shift it into four-wheel drive and have some fun. We'll send it up this little, we'll start like we did before. We'll send it up the little whooped out section up the climb here, just see how it does. Now, if you guys don't remember, this truck has a unique four-wheel drive because it has a transfer case out of a Rubicon. So it has a four to one transfer case. So you have to, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in four high. Let's put it in neutral. We'll just put it one click up into four high. And then over here, I have a switch to the front axle disconnect and we'll just go ahead and connect that. So we should be in four high. We'll just let it climb and see what it does. I'm not even gonna put it in low. I'm just gonna aim it up at this thing and see what happens. pretty easy. <laughs> so a quick assessment of that. That was extraordinarily easy, no drama. It seemed to flex just enough. There wasn't really any tire slip. Okay, past test one. Let's go climb the rocks. I like this sneaking up to it. So we'll climb a little uh, rocky section here. Just have some fun, let it do its thing. Really just 
just seems to get traction where it needs it and do its thing. All right. Okay, so the assessment after the second climb is same thing, extraordinarily easy, feels good. I, there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of traction. I think I want to do just something for fun. Let's climb this steep dirt hill in two wheel drive and then just test the, the limits of traction and just see if we can sweet, find the sweet spot and see where the traction is and see what it does. <laughs> Had to just double check that it's in two wheel drive only. All right, so we'll just climb this and we'll go slow and then just see where that traction, put it in first. All right, so let's just see where the traction, where the limits of traction are. There it is. Kind of fun to just see, listen to the tire do its work. just did science. Uh, so I kind of fed a little bit of throttle into it at the end to upset the tires and it was cool to just listen to them growl a little bit and do their work and get a little bit of grip. That's pretty fun. The thing just seems to just work really well. Uh, the tire seems to, ju to just accentuate the suspension and the wheelbase and the leverage that this thing kind of generates. So, so far it's good. Um, I think we should just go send it onto those pipes. We did that last time, so I think we were obliged to do it again. have it a very successful first tire test I'm not gonna finish this one off with a bunch of donuts because I don't want to be that guy there's a bunch of campers over there I'll be kicking up a bunch of dust let's not be that guy um, but stay tuned there's lots more to do I think it's time to put a locker in the back of this truck I think it deserves it it's gonna just be the absolute perfect thing to make this just as capable as it's ever gonna be so Stay tuned, lots more to go, lots more to do on the channel. And uh, man, I tell you, this one is a good one. I just love the looks. I like, I just like picturing what it looks like as I'm cruising through the trails, even from the driver's seat, just knowing how cool it looks. So this, this is a really good one. So thank you guys so much for watching. You know the drill. Until next time, enjoy your drive. <laughs>